Yes. We'll come back to the part seven of Java tutorials and condition sections. In this section, I will show you how you can work with switch condition in Java. Okay. To work with switch, first you type switch and here is the condition okay uh, then you put your block the block of switch and here is you have the case and the value value and if this was true okay this checks this this also is a value this checks this value sorry with this value if the uh, both of this these are equal then here this statement first statement well printed okay then you need to break that okay and again the case another value another value if this was okay then the second statement will print it. and finally finally default okay no case are executed this is the condition okay and this is the syntax of switch but as you can see now we have problem it it shows us with the red color so for example if 4 is equal was 4 or is equal 3 then we check it as you can see here is 4 4 is equal to this 4 the first case will execute here is the block of the case 1 you can have multiple statement okay as you can see now the first case will execute it but do not forget the big keyword if you forget the big keyword as you can see here it match the case one this statement will print but if you do not have the big uh, keyword then the other case also will execute now if I run this second statement also will execute okay as you can see second statement also the default part are executed because we does not have the break okay so do not forget the break and here also you need the break statement okay if now if i for uh, if i miss this brick in the first case then first case are uh, gets matched because here is four and match the case one then the case one will execute it and because we doesn't have here a brick brick and the case two will also will execute but in case 2 we have big the default will not execute it as you can see in the previous execution uh, the default are executed now if i run uh, it will not execute but this will execute as you can see second statement also executed but it says us the big is necessary also this value are final okay for example 
after Java, uh, after Java 7, you can have here an string. Okay, for example, my name Muhammad. Uh, for example, Muhammad. Okay. Also, all when you put here an string, all case should be string. Okay. For example, Ahmad. Now, if I run, the first statement will execute. Okay, test three, because this gets plunks to case one. Now, if I have here a variable name, this case value always is final. Now, if I make an string which uh, I make a variable which uh, its variable name is name is equal to this value okay what's up okay string name is equal to this value now as you can see name cannot be accepted because of what because the case should be final because it is it cannot be changed so if I make this final this is okay because we cannot change the value of name because that is final now if I run it will execute the first statement if I change this so no statement will execute execute no case will execute just the default case will execute okay okay no case are executed but if I made make this Ahmad okay then what's up okay 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 we cannot change this because uh, we can change this just okay Ahmad then this statement this case will execute his second statement okay this was the switch condition thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye